welcome back to my channel it is another weekly vlog if you're new here my name is Nas. we talk about all things lifestyle beauty and fashion but this regular schmegla old vlog um it is monday the 18th 18th march 18th y'all have oh my gosh march 18th y'all april's supposed to be here Child. Anyways, um, we are getting our day started. Oh, look at my nails, you guys. Look at my nails. This one is crooked. Like, don't pay attention. Like, honestly, this whole hand is given left. <laughs> um, but either way, like, I still ate. I, my thumb is still very much sprained. I be taking the brace off just to get like a little bit of just a little bit of motion, a little bit, because I feel like it'll be falling asleep. So it is sprained. She's doing better. She's like. I say, I don't even know the percentage child because there's still some things I cannot do with it. So me trying to do this hand, oh, I was struggling. Cause you know, you gotta press hard when you're putting the nails on, baby, struggling. Either way, I love the design that I came up with. It looks so cute. Like I had so much fun. And this is so different for me because it's like, it's like color, color, but I feel like it's giving Easter. I feel like it's giving spring. So it's very much appropriate. Almost like a little mermaid, honestly. But yeah, we did our nails last night. Um, I'll go ahead and pop that video in here right now. So we did our nails um, last night. And literally, it took me hours. It took me hours. Um, the soak off took so long. But it was because I had the, like, do y'all remember my last set? I had like these little, it was almost looking like hard candy, like sugar candy. Um, like pop rocks, like the little crystallies. I had them all on like on two nails and that took so long to drill down because I couldn't soak that off. It just was like chilling in the, in the acetone. Like girl, where you think we going? Nowhere. So it took so long to, to, um, take those off. Um, I had gems on the other hand too, but it didn't take as long as it did that, those crystally things. So yeah, that's that. The morning's been kind of slow. It's, I think it's one o'clock. It's 1243. It's about to be one o'clock. Um, I laid in the bed um, until uh, 11. Yeah, like 11. Um, I did my devotional, did everything. I did everything from the bed today just because I went to, I got in the bed. That's what I was saying. It took me hours to do my nails. I got in the bed at two o'clock in the morning and then I woke up. Like my body woke up at eight, but I still was kind of laying there lounging around. And I was like, okay, girl, you got to get your word in, get, get your devotional on, open your Bibles to Leviticus. Today we reread Leviticus and we read a little bit of song. I'll be done with Leviticus tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, I think Leviticus is done tomorrow. But the, um, the Bible, uh, um, resource that I'm using kind of tells me on like which days to read what. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be a reason why she had me go to Psalm and then back to Leviticus because I was already in Leviticus and then it told me to go to Psalm. So I'm like, in my head while I was reading, I was like, okay, we're going to be able to tie this together soon. I just got to wait because there's a, um, there's like a, not a, it is a prompt, but there's also like, um, like a reflection part after you read like the week's reading. Um, if y'all have the book, you know what I'm talking about, but if not, I'll go ahead and link it down below so you guys can follow along with me. Okay. We are officially in, we're about to be in week seven of reading the Bible. So yeah, that we did that. We was in, in the bed all day. I ate a bagel and I ate a whole one. I ate the butt in the front child. Like that sounded, that sounded horrible, but you know what I mean? I, <laughs> I ate both parts of the bagel um, this morning and I'm not mad about it at all. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be, you know, cognizant of what I eat throughout the day, but I wanted a bagel. So I had a bagel and I did so good last week. I'm very much proud of myself for how I showed up and ate and exercised and did all the right things. Still not drinking liquor, still not phased. Like we chilling, we doing the thing. So I'm excited. Um, that's why I allowed myself to have what I wanted to have. Um, I hardly ate any carbs last week, like any compared to how I do be eating carbs, like pasta, literally three times a week. Then we talk about rice. Then we talking about bagels. We talk about sandwiches, like none of that. I didn't do any of that. Y'all, I'm so proud. I stuck with my meal prep. We are going to meal prep again. Um, we'll probably actually, I probably should take out the chicken now so we can meal prep. I don't know what I'm going to meal prep. Honestly, I think I might just do the, the, um, not the bowls, but the wraps that I did last week because, girl, 
them wraps was fire okay and i actually wanted to eat them like i was excited for dinner i was excited to eat and lunch i was eating them like all throughout the day so and they're so light and they're filling um and it helps me get my protein in and it's low carb it just chef's kiss if you didn't catch that video um i'll go ahead and link it last week's uh vlog but girl it was good it was good so on the agenda today we don't really have much to do um i did everything i was supposed to do yesterday i actually i have a um a site to to rework some things to add to a site for a client and then i'm gonna be editing um majority of the day we got our laptop right here um i just like editing on my laptop my computer my desktop i think she need to be clean because she's been running real slow so back to the old laptop and she's been getting through these edits okay real fast no lagging okay we love that for her so we are going to edit this week's vlog because i didn't do that yesterday i decided to like really focus on all the other tasks that i have to do or like what I'll be doing for this week so I wouldn't have to worry about it during the week. So client strategies, um, client follow-ups, uh, any re-edits, photos, like because I've been work I've been working with clients way more than I usually have. And that's why I said that quarter two, I'm not taking any clients. But I did, I wrapped it up a little bit. I kind of was just saying, yeah, I was in my season of yes. And honestly, part of that was because I was also in a season of having a scarcity mindset of like, okay, the partnerships have slowed down, but I do have a, a large amount coming in in two weeks. So even though it's slowed down, I I have, I, I'm going to be cool. I'm going to be cool for a little minute. Um, but I was thinking ahead. I was like, okay, yes, that's great that those partnerships are coming in, that those payments are coming in, but what's going to happen after that? Like, I hate when I get like that and that's why I've been so like head down in the Bible in my word if anything like <laughs> opposite of what I should be thinking pops up in my head no girl get back to your word get back to your word like because I can't afford to be over here second guessing myself and second guessing myself and then do something that I'm not I want to say I regret it because I love working with the girls but there does come a time where I'm just like, oh, I could be focusing on myself. I can get so much more done when I do this. Like, and it's the truth. Like, yes, I can get so much more done when I am focusing on the things that I'm supposed to be focusing on instead of operating in a scarcity mindset. Like, I ain't gonna have no money. Chow, don't get me started. But yeah, we're doubling down quarter two. All us, all us, okay? And I'm so excited because I got that itch back. It took a minute for me to get back into routine, but I found my flow, we back here, and I'm so excited. So yeah, I did all the things that I was supposed to do yesterday um, for the week. I got my little to-do list. I have two more things to do, which will be done today. And then the rest of this week, I can focus on me. I can focus on creating. I can focus on meeting with my best friend to go over strategies and just things that, um, you know, we want to come down the pipeline or what's in the pipeline, things we want to do for a quarter two and all those things. I have a, uh, a call with my agency tomorrow. Um, and yeah, the rest of the week should be kind of smooth, should be kind of real chill. So, um, I'm definitely going to be keeping y'all with me this week though. I want to challenge myself to get outside. Like it's being cold y'all. The weather was doing nice and then it got cold again. So I want to like challenge myself cause I'm, I'm back in the gym, but I want to get back to my walks. If you're new here, um, last year spray uh, honestly all the time every year um i do i get into like these two a days where i'll walk outside for an hour and then i'll go to the gym or i'll go to the gym and walk on this walk for an hour later um and it's just been a little cold and i want to kind of like do at least 30 minutes today or maybe 20 minutes maybe we'll start with 20 minutes bundle up gloves hat and just get outside so i want to start that this week i'm going to try my hardest to do it turn something on podcast church sermon a movie <laughs> a show something in my ear did i tell you i lost my airpods i lost my airpods when i went to la through tsa i didn't put them in my bag like a dummy and i grabbed my bag and they flew somewhere child i don't know anyways that just reminded me <laughs> like my headphones but i only honestly walk with one in anyways but that just triggered me but yeah we gonna get outside today hold me to it y'all Hold me to it.
Hey friends, hey. I um I'm tired. I feel like I look like it too. Y'all, tell me what we just got done in editing. It's 6 10, but we got done at 5 30. Two hours more than I thought. But I'm I, I I love this vlog. I get a little personal, got a little emotional in the vlog, and I actually kept that stuff in there. Um I kept it in there, girl. Um and it's just such a good, it's such a cozy vlog. Like, I'm just talking about just everything, all the things. I'm cooking, Katie's in it. You know, she, the kids hardly ever want to be in my videos. So the fact that she's in it is real cute, just a little bit. And then I'm creating content, taking you guys behind the scenes. Like, it's a cute little, it's a cute little vibe. Um, I'm trying to decide though, if I want to upload that tonight. No. Bo is barking at somebody jogging, child. I'm trying to decide if I want to upload that tonight or if I want to upload it tomorrow. I think I might want to do it tomorrow. Um, a little Tuesday. Let me see what other. Let me see what's on YouTube right now. Like, let me see who's posting. Um, but yeah, I mean, I did do a short. I did do a short today, so I'm, I don't know. I think I might just. I don't know, y'all. I think I might wait till tomorrow that's gonna be the move what i'm doing right now i am thawing out some food um thawing out some chicken um i really thought like well, i don't know where the time went i was like oh i'm gonna thaw some chicken out and i never got to it <laughs> i never did it so it's six o'clock right now hopefully by seven it'll be thawed out 7 30 <laughs> it'll be thawed out and ready for me to cook half of it i'm going to meal prep and the other half i am going to cook uh dinner for the family tonight um yeah that's all i got for you guys i just want to check in i could show you guys we got a little bit of pr let's do that i'll show you guys a little bit of pr while that is thawing out i just refilled my water back up so we're drinking our water um y'all i know i said i wanted to do 20 minutes 20 minutes of getting outside but baby it is cold and y'all hear i've been sneezing vino brought something back from detroit and your girl is sneezing the whole house is sneezing vincent was home today but like it's it's crazy out here it is 34 degrees mm. i don't know and the fact that it's supposed to snow next weekend sunday monday tuesday wednesday of next week is supposed to be snowing excuse me child we might just be getting on the peloton or you know what i could do some weights too i'll be forgetting about my weight that i wait here child my house is a mess why i move my toe I'm about to break another tool baby focus on me Okay, starting with Elf. So I actually have two packages from Elf. Can't remember if I showed y'all this one, but this is the the Holy Hydration um, Gel Moisturizer and the Gel or in the Melting Cleansing Balm. This is what it looks like. Sneaking on by. <laughs> And then we also, we got this package from e.l.f. This is the Zits, the stick to stick, stick it to Zits, the stickers, <laughs> um, pimple patches. And then this is the Tri Acid Resurfacing Serum. Katie, you need some pimple patches? Um, sure. How many do you have? Um, this is 36. Let's see how many are in the pack. You gotta get a raisin because um, she's having you. So I was like, hey, you got pimple right there. Give her. Mm -hmm. You got some downstairs still? Yeah, just the cat one. So. Mm -hmm. really oh, lucky her. She don't really get pimples. She's perfect. Let me see. She don't want to be by, by me all week. She don't want to be by you all week? Yeah, no, she's sick. You're gonna Bluetooth me. Mom, so I'm gonna Bluetooth her. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm a period. She said that if we oh. Guys, oh, my goodness. She's like, that okay, it is. <laughs> we got another package from Murad. Um, this is 
Uh, okay, so you open it. It's actually really cute. You open it, and then it has like, it opens like this. It has all these fun. <laughs> well, that's how it opens. <laughs> Basically, I didn't know that came out. I didn't know this came out. So this is like the pamphlet of the information, um, which is kind of cool. It's kind of nice. So it came inside of inside of this box <laughs> came the retinol, which I've they've sent a few of these over, and I just give them away. I'm honestly just scared to use this on my skin, so I always put it in the giveaway pile. And then we also got the retinol resculpt eye lift. Now I might try that, but the retinol over the face, like girl, I'm scared. Um, and then this is uh, organic Midori Spring Gold. It's matcha. The, uh, this isn't near it. It just came with the package. But I thought this was cute. Um, yeah. So I, I used to be a matcha lover, y'all, when I did keto back in 2019. I was like a keto queen, girl. And I loved matcha. Like, that was my thing for, like, two years. And then I stopped liking it. Like now it just tastes like straight up dirt to me. So I don't know if I'll be drinking that. <laughs> um, and then this is from Olaplex. Hey girl, she look cute. They have a new brow. What is this? A brow bond. It's a building serum. And then they also have a lash bond. So they're both like lash and brow serums. I didn't know Olaplex had stuff like that. So that was a fun package to receive. And then this package, y'all. Oh, my goodness. So this is from Beekman 1802. Look at this package. Hold on, y'all. Let me. How did I open it last time? This package is so funny. How did I open it? Okay. So, okay, let me make sure I don't drop, make sure I don't drop this one. I'm bumping y'all all over, child. Okay, so we received this stuff. I'm gonna just take it out. We got a cleanser, we got a toner, which I just ran out of my toner, so yeah, that'll be nice. <laughs> um, and then I got a, what is this? A gel moisturizer, hydrate. Now they say that this is for oily to combination skin. So I might be gifting this because I'm very much a dry girl these days, okay? Um, but that wasn't the exciting part. Look at this pack, y'all. It is a whole chia pet. A chia pet? I've never had a ch 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 chia. I've never had a chia pet. Child. The millennial in me is screaming, honey. We received the Olaplex one and this Elemis package today. So they sent over their resurfacing pads, like one of my favorite resurfacing pads, but they look spendy. So I appreciate them for sending this over, like truly, because I be also like, do I got any points? Because I think this the the pads are like sixty dollars, sixty five dollars, um, or more. They they're they they up there. Um, also love the cleanser, the um you know, to take off your makeup. And then this is the collagen cream. This stings a little bit when I use it, so I don't use it anymore. So that's gonna be going in the giveaway pile. And then, it's only for my skin though. Like, I'm pretty sure people that have normal skin, it don't bother them, but my skin is very sensitive. And then this is my favorite oil. Like, I love this oil. I've tried out many. Some of them be oily, like they, they're oily, and then they dry up, like my face sucks it up right away. Now with this one, baby. Now with this one. So, yeah. This is what we got in PR today. I'm actually going to take it since I showed y'all. Oh, I didn't show Instagram. Okay, I won't take it out the box yet. But, actually, yeah. Let me just do the Instagram right now. Yeah. What I'm, wait what I'm waiting for. What I'm waiting for, girl. Good morning, friends. Um, I am sick. I am sick. And it is Tuesday. Uh, we actually are getting ready for a call. I just tossed on this wig and threw on a hat because if you know, you know. Girl, she ain't secure. But um, we have back-to-back -back calls this morning. And um, I'm not rescheduling them. Like, I don't care if I feel like crap. I don't care if my throat hurts. I don't care if I can't breathe out of this nostril. We getting these calls done. Because the way that I'm so serious about 
just getting every I am like I don't like this about me but I will push stuff off for the benefit of me like okay that sounds okay and I'm, I, when I'm saying it I'm like duh you should be doing that but I feel like I have to push past that because it's not like I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically, I'm saying I am pushing past all my excuses this week. I'm about to put this little necklace on that I got from Kate Spade because um, it's cute. But uh, I'm pushing past all my excuses this week so I don't go into April with stuff that should have been done in in March. That's what I'm. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say, child. Um, and because I do feel like crap, it is easy for me to be like, you know what? We're going to go ahead and uh <laughs> push this to next week, which then next week, who knows the obligations and the things that I might, you know, be tied to, which would add to the load. I'm trying to lighten the load. That's where that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to lighten the load. So go ahead and do the things now. But we have our first call, which is actually with the agency um, in seven minutes here. And I was doing my nails, so I had took my little thing off. But yeah, it's it's nine o'clock. No, well, it's 930. It's about to be 930. And then after that, we have another call at 10. Then we have another call at... And I'm actually about to email my 10 o'clock now and ask her, can we do 1030? Because... Um, I doubt the call for my agency is going to be 30 minutes. I'm pretty sure it's going to be longer than that. Um, so yeah, do that. And then we have another call at 12 and then there's just some other stuff that I want to wrap up, um, for some clients, uh, I'm waiting for their feedback actually, um, on the revisions that I did for their site. And that'll be the last thing I, I have, um, yeah, I don't have any, I'll have one more call next week. And then my two clients that I've been working with for a minute, the one that I just went to LA for her, I have to, um, I'll be working with her probably until the middle of April. Um, and the, as well as, or no, the, my, I have a client, a client in London. Um, our last week together, I believe is the first week of April. So we're getting things done. I'm excited to just kind of have, um, my brain back and working for me <laughs> so yeah um i'm about to write her like right now let her know um but yeah today's gonna be chill should be chill i wanted to create today but i don't think i am i think i'm gonna um finish editing uh we have a youtube video going up the video that i did yesterday that's going up today but um i think i'm just gonna focus on editing i have a lot of short form videos that need to be edited and then i have a few short form videos for my client that I need to edit as well. So I think it'll be a chill day. Um, and I'm sick. Yeah. We don't got us sick. Child. Um, so yeah, I don't feel the best and I know that that'll show through my content. I don't got time for that. <laughs> I do not have time for that. So yeah, I, um, I'll check in with y'all after this call. hey it is Wednesday my bad for leaving y'all yesterday got a little crazy <laughs> yesterday got a little crazy um I'm gonna have a sit down and talk to y'all about it but today we create content girl so y'all remember um well maybe you don't if you didn't watch the last vlog I'll go ahead and link it up here go watch that vlog um 
I created content. I ended up having a content day that I'm not gonna say it was a fail, but I originally planned to shoot outside and it just didn't work for me. So I ended up shooting at my studio, right? So today we are going to shoot the content or shoot the outfit. There's one specific outfit that I wanna shoot outside. The one from Target, the three piece suit looking one. Um, We are going to film, we are gonna shoot that. We're going to shoot that today and possibly get some video content um, in about an hour here, hour and a half. Oh no, like two hours because I have to wait for Katie to get home. So what I'm about to do, what I'm about to do right now is do my makeup um, and prepare. Uh, there's not much. I'm only doing that outfit and then like a casual like denim, I think a jacket because it's cold. It's only like 30 something degrees if I'm not mistaken. Hold on, let me check. The weather is approximately... 30 degrees on the dot. 30 degrees on the dot, honey. So, yeah, we probably gonna end up doing a little something, something, y'all. We were supposed to get snow. We're supposed to get snow Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I can't. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm about to do my makeup. It is 326 right now. Um, you guys haven't missed anything. I just pretty much been um working and I ended up coloring this hair this is the same unit that I wore in um New York Fashion Week during New York Fashion Week and and, she, I, and I think she's giving cute I think she's giving cute honey so yeah I am going to um do my makeup and if we have time I'll kiki with y'all because we got a little kiki edge we got a little kiki edge y'all we got some, we got some kiki in to do. So I might go ahead and do that if we have time to do that before. But if not, we definitely gonna catch up tonight. We'll have a little sit down. We're gonna, we're gonna talk tonight. We're gonna pour up a little kombucha. We're gonna talk. Okay, girl. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna stop saying I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and just go ahead and do my makeup. done with the makeup uh i'm i'm thinking i'm gonna put a gloss on or i might just make my lip whitener a little darker because this was the lip that i had but this is the dilemma i haven't put lashes on yet so i feel like i look a little weird but this is the dilemma we have i don't know if i want to wear this hair because i'm feeling her she's freshly washed freshly styled like i feel like i can throw her this way get it right girl like pull it down on the forehead but I feel like I can style her like, like this. I feel like I can style her like this. So, and in the middle, like just gives. But I style, I did style the long unit. She's over there sitting on her little, on her little head. So I'm about to put on the outfit that we shot last time. Um, Cause I want to get, I want to get content. I want to get content in this outside but I'm like do I put the same wig on to make it look like it was you know the same day I guess it doesn't have to look like it's the same day but it's just like most likely the photos will be mm, I'll say they might be putting a carousel together but maybe not but okay so I'm thinking I'm thinking I just put the pants on let put the top on I ain't trying to show y'all my goodies okay um but yeah yeah, I'm really trying to figure, trying to figure that out. Cause like I could do this and it would give two different looks technically, um, with the same outfit in their different locations and their different locations. Like, is that what I want to give? I don't know. I don't know. 
but I do know we're going to try it anyways to see if we like it with the short hair. And right now, I kind of am feeling it with the short Should I just do the short hair? Let me put the, let me put the jacket on. Okay. With the jacket and the short hair. Oh, this giving balls. It's giving boss, babe. <laughs> oh, dang. What do, what do we do? But the long hair was giving boss, too. But this is like... Either way, it's like more content because one is at the studio. One is at... One is going to be outside. But like... I feel like... I feel like we got to do this hair. Oh, and these pants are a little too big. I'm going to just have to tell her to be cognizant of that when I'm posing. And I, 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 I like it with the middle part, too. The suit with the middle part. And I do like the other outfit that I'm going to wear with this hair, too. So, oh, I don't know. It's a no, girl. Like, y'all see what I'm talking about? Do you see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? With the short hair? Mm. But I just go, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna quit playing. I'm gonna do it. Okay, y'all, the second look eats too. Let me hide my bosoms. Never mind the pile of clothes that I need to put back, but I like this contrast of this, the ashy, <laughs> the ashy brown cargo denim. Um... And the, and the like gold top. Okay, I don't know how it looks on camera, but I'm looking in the mirror right now and I actually really like it. I think it will look, I think it'll shoot really cute. The original pants that I had paired with this, they were also were cargo denim, but they were green. I think these are fun. Yeah. I'm trying to get my poses to see. Yeah, and then I'll gloss up the lip for this one. I guess I, I'm gonna gloss up the lip for both, but yeah, cute. This is the fun thing about like putting looks together because you put looks together for like, pop, like, you know, when you actually have somewhere to go, you don't have to think about what to wear because you have a feed of outfits <laughs> that you didn't wear anywhere, but for content. So yeah. All right. I'm going to um, pick up these clothes, iron the suit and pack. We just got done filming. Okay, so I'm going to do a voiceover for um, two videos. And I just did like the beginning intros because I like to do, I like to start my voiceovers like with me talking to the camera. So that's what we just did. Um, wig is on. She's secure. This outfit that I have on is from um, one of the other videos. So we're not uh, wearing this there. We're about to leave in a second. And y'all, this is my first time. This is my first time using this little rod up here. Got it from Amazon. I'll link it for you guys. <laughs> my first time. I was like, I really want to see the outfit hung up. Um, It was a different outfit. And I was like, hold on. I know my husband installed something for me. And I completely forgot that that was up there. And it actually scared me when I was over here looking at something. I turned around and I thought it was a whole man behind me. But yes, we have her up. Um, Yeah, I'm going to put this outfit on now. Or, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, it's it's like 6.05. My friend said that she should be leaving by 6.15, her house by 6.15. So, yeah, I'm going to just throw that one now, and then we're going to head out. I'm so excited to get this content. And it's now, like, yeah, it, it's later in the day, so that means, like, downtown should actually be, like, empty. Um, Shouldn't be that many people down there at all. So, um, we should get some good stuff. It's going to be getting dark in like two hours. So we're going to, we're going to make it work real quick. But yeah, like I said, we only have two looks, so we should be in and out, in and out. Oh, I don't have a bag for this. Okay. I'm going to see how I won't get in the car. All right, y'all. We are headed down sound. We got the husband with us. <laughs> I realized I took the face tracker off of here. It's not tracking anymore. I don't know what I did. Oh, my hair. I shouldn't have messed with that. No, you know what I'm saying, child? Just oh, make it work. Tough. 
But yeah, we're headed downtown. Sun is glaring, honey. Oh shit, I forgot my glasses. I need my glasses. We need the glasses. I'll see y'all when we downtown, child. Video of me, video. Yeah. We, sec we secured the nay. <laughs> Turn around straight. Turn around straight. Look over your shoulder. Look over your shoulder. Shake. 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 I'm on and I'm off there. Yeah, yeah. I don't follow rules and they don't like that. Hit the club with white, keep running time back. Yeah, hit the free twice and ran it right back. I'm only here tonight, cause in the morning got a flight back. Talking it, but you ain't living like that. The porch cost a hundred, this is twice that. Flooded on my diamonds, falling spring. Back in Oakland, I'm the king. I know an Aussie is a thing. Right detail, that's not a speck of dust on it. I'ma get the bag, you can put some trust on it. Everything is new, so it's never rust on it. And just like that, we are back. Girl, girl, we had a nice old time. It was cold as hell. It was very cold. It was so cold, y'all so cold um but we're back and we're about to cook um i think we're gonna make rasta pasta i made it for the first time two weeks ago so i think it's time to make it again okay um i probably won't be indulging in as much as i would like to um but because i practically ate no carbs today i'm gonna treat myself um and then we're gonna meal prep tomorrow because we're supposed to meal prep today um, we were supposed to meal prep yesterday. Then we were supposed to meal prep today and then it didn't happen. So I'm going to go ahead and cook. You guys will watch and then we'll sit down and chat about, um, a little update. Give you guys a little update. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that content. The, the photo shoot went really, really well. I am happy that I forced myself to do it. Got my girls to do it. Got my husband to come. So we got a little bit of video. We got a little bit of video. We got some pictures, all of the things. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I finally started watching Suits again. I loved Suits when it first came out. So now I'm re-watching it now that it's on Netflix. And I'm still in season one. I started it this morning. I started it earlier today. I'm just in season one. I started it earlier today. So I love when I have a show to binge. I don't know what took me so long to like rewatch it. But yeah, I've been watching, I've been rewatching everything, y'all. I've been rewatching The Walking Dead. I mean, I watched me my, me, my wife and kids. I loved rewatching that. I actually might rewatch that again. Like I just, it's just a feel good. It's such a feel good show. Um, especially like now that we have, we got whole teens. So just watching it from that point of view, like being a parent of teenagers, like, Ciao. It's just so nostalgic. Kind of how girlfriends, how like, kind of how like watching girlfriends now as an adult in your 30s hits a little different. Um, it hit, that show definitely hit a little different. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cook and I'll see y'all in a minute.
Good morning, friends. Um, it is Thursday, indeed, March 21st. Um, yeah, yeah. I, uh, last night, last night, child, I didn't forget about y'all, but, um, life just started life in. I had to talk to, I had a talk with Katie last night. Um, and yeah, after I cooked, it was mommy mode. It was straight mommy mode. So I didn't turn the camera back on. Um, but I also went to bed late. So we don't say he's tired of me falling asleep on him. And so I was like, well, I'm not going to take mine. Cause I've been making my sleep girl mocktail y'all. I ain't going to say I'm addicted. I ain't going to say I'm addicted, but like it do be helping me sleep. So, <laughs> so I purposely did not take it. So I purposely did not make my mocktail last night thinking that we was going to kick it, be up, kiki and talking, whatever, watching the show, something. That man went to sleep on me. That man went to sleep on me. So um, I was up. I was wide awake. I don't know why I was wide awake, but I was wide awake. I went to bed at like 2.30 forcefully had to force myself like to get off of my phone ideas were popping in my head like I was all over the place so so yeah just made my smoothie got up started cleaning the house because it was it was a mess okay there was we bo we boiled some chicken for the dogs last night why was the boiled chicken still on the stove when I asked my husband to put the food away last night I just thought I just knew he was gonna put the the chicken away so I had to throw my dog's chicken out. Thankfully, it was not a lot. It was just like the scraps from the chicken that I um diced up for dinner. But like, sir, now my dogs ain't got no no chicken jerky. <laughs> Anyways, we cleaned up, we praised, we worshiped, we prayed, we devotionaled, we devotionaled. We did all of the things this morning. It's now 9:30. Um and yeah. So yeah, I want to sit and just chat with y'all for a little bit. So Basically, y'all, your girl's a free agent. <laughs> your girl's a free agent. Um, I am no longer with my agency. And we are we are a free agent as of right now. Um, I just wanna speak about the verse that I put in the last um the last uh vlog, sorry. Um, where I was like, everything is in alignment. Um, there were, there have been things on my heart. There have been things, um, that I've been thinking about. There have been things that have been thinking. And this specific thing with, um, not the agency itself, but just being managed. Um, and also conversations that I've had with other creators have definitely sparked something in me that I feel like God was trying to really get my attention on. And so, yeah, I brought those things up and it didn't work out. So I am therefore no longer with my agency. The way that it was handled definitely took me by surprise. But I will say I am better for it. Oh my gosh, this experience <laughs> has taught me so much. Um, and has also showed me what to actually look for when, um, whether it's another uh, agency or um, working with the agent in general. It told me so much about my business. And I also learned so much about my business that I did not know. So I'm actually about to make a video. Well, the video's already done, but it's going to be a voiceover on basically my what I've learned or what has happened in quarter one, kind of like a quarter one recap as a content creator. And I'm going to share this morning. I was praying. I was asking God to really download the answers inside of me, the things that I be seeking, download them inside of me because I'm quick to go to a friend for advice. I'm quick to go to my husband for advice. Um... And I was like, God, make me go to you. Make me go to you. It's not that I don't. It's not that I pray. But I will be honest and transparent. He's not always first. I pray about the situation, but I don't specifically ask for the answers. And Matthew 21 verse 22 keeps coming up in my head. Whatever you ask for in prayer, you will receive. Whatever you ask for in prayer, you will receive. And so I asked for something. 
and I received it. And mind y'all, I will tell you guys this. I'm, I, I know that you ain't really supposed to be telling everybody your business, but I am fasting right now. Um, and I was telling a friend that I was like, I don't even know what called me to, to fast right now. I was like, I, I feel like God was so loud in February and he was like, girl, it's time to, it's time to chill. I initially thought it was because of like New York and just my eating habits and drinking. And I know that fasting is so much more than what you di digest like physically as far as food, but also what you digest as far as the things that are around you, the people that are around you, what you're taking in. And I felt like I really needed to hear God, but I didn't know why I needed to hear him. And baby, it is so prevalent right now. It is so like loud in my face. And I feel like I have never been <laughs> so obedient in my life. Again, I know that I'm not supposed to like boast and talk about me um, fasting, but I'm saying that for a reason. I fasted. I was obedient. I did the things. I'm fasting from a few things. I don't think I've shared <laughs> the other things that I'm fasting from outside of alcohol and certain foods, but Y'all, God is just blowing my mind. God is blowing my mind and he is making, he is making me so uncomfortable to the point where I can only go to him. I can only go to him for the answer. And he's also blowing my mind in the, he's also blowing my mind in a whole nother way where he's almost like saying, I told you so. I told you that you were going to be okay. And I told you what I told you. If you catch my, I told you what I told you. And the way, the same day that I had this conversation and, um, you know, no longer with my agency, I'm, I'm going to be real with y'all. Not even an hour later, God just started dropping dropping resources and oh my gosh y'all that's why um I think it was Tuesday and Wednesday I couldn't really vlog much that's why on Tuesday y'all I couldn't really vlog much I was like I went oh I went through a wave of emotions I was I was frustrated I was angry I was hurt I found I found joy I was grateful I was, I felt resilient. I felt um, supported. Oh my gosh. I, I felt not supported. And then I felt extremely supported all within like a matter of hours of this day. And God was like, you kept me at the forefront. And I know I said, I don't always go to him first, but I do keep God at the forefront as far as everything that I do. I'm constantly thinking about him all day, every day. And I do say, I will say out of all the fasts that I've had and that I've done, this one has been so, oh my God. <laughs> I ain't gonna cry again on here. But I will say, um, when I was thinking of doing this voiceover, I was thinking of doing this voiceover, I was like, well, what am I going to talk about? And God, as I was cleaning, God was just like, you're going to talk about this. And you're going to talk about this. And you can share this. And I was coming from a space of, um, I was coming from a space of like teaching Nas, like, you know, cookie cutter Nas, like, let's give a gem. Let's give a, let's give a tip. But it's time for Nas to be real about her experiences and what's truly going on. Um, and just to show how, just to show how good God is, just to show how, how he's kept me, just to show how faithful he is, just to show how resilient I am, uh, the word in my devotional, the for my devotional today, it asks, um, what is my word for the day? It always asks, what's your word for the day? And prosperity, prosperity is on my heart. Prosperity is the word of the day. Oh my God, to know that I have such a prosperous life. Um, oh, just to know that I have such a prosperous life. Um, there's so much prosperity all over me. God's favor is all over me. And 
there's never a moment where I could be down. There's never a moment where I could be sad. There's never a moment where I could be bitter because I know that God is doing all of this. He is doing all of this. And I am forever grateful that I, that God has given me discernment, that God has given me <laughs> grace, that God has shown his mercy upon me, child. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that is the update, you guys. As of right now, I am not with an agency. Um, however, there have been people reaching out, um, almost like God was waiting for this to happen. And he was like, I can't do this until you do that. I can't do this until you speak up. I, you going to play in my face or you going to play in my face? Like, that's what he was saying. I'm not going to be able to give you the desires of your heart. If you are not willing to do the things that I'm asking you to do. And I think um, even being wise enough to understand the things that are happening and not feel any ill <laughs> will towards anything or not um, just being able to look at the silver lining, just being able to look at the bigger picture of everything. I'm so grateful for God and how he has literally shined his light upon me. Literally just shining it, child. Just shining it, child. And I'm forever grateful for y'all. The people that do watch, the people that do tap in. Um, I just feel like we are entering. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all this. This is so crazy. A friend brought this up to me. She was like, do you realize that you no longer, you know, being, you know, with this <laughs> anymore is happening on the first day of spring? It is literally new beginnings for you. Oh my gosh. God is about to blow your mind even more. Like the first day of spring. I just feel like it just, I just have, I just, I'm, and I, I don't know. I'm so happy for the people that I have in my life. I was chatting with a good friend of mine, um, Alyssa Davis. Y'all probably know who she is. Um, she's a really talented creator. Um, but she has YouTube, she's on Instagram, all the things. But um we were on, we were chatting and she was like, Can I say a prayer now? I was like, I just feel led to, to pray for you. And everything that she said in that prayer, y'all, oh my gosh, I'm just I just was moved. One I was moved by what she was saying in the prayer and how she was speaking life over me. Um, and just everything in the prayer was beautiful. But most importantly, in that moment, I got like just so emotional because I'm like to have friends that pray, that pray real prayers for you. The same prayers that you pray for yourself without even having to tell them the things that you've been praying for, but they're speaking it right over you. It's just um, something that you cannot, you can't just like, that doesn't just happen. God places specific people in your life for a reason. And I feel like I was telling my friend, I was like, I feel like this is my pruning season. I feel like God, I, the, the more that I pray and I sit down and I journal and I write and I sit and talk with him, God is being so specific and intentional with how he is with how he is ordering my steps, with how he is working in my life. And to place these certain people in my life, the things that they have poured into me, this week has been so affirming. This week could have been a like a, a this week could have been any other way, y'all. But the but instead it has been so affirming as to um just know that I'm I'm on track. <laughs> I'm exactly where I God wants me to be and I'm I'm going where God wants me to go. Um from the messages, random DMs, Jeremy Gus, you girl. Um random voice notes, just the the amount of messages that I received, I feel like God intentionally did that. There's no way that these people know what's going on in my life. There's no way that these people know because I don't, I don't be sharing my business, y'all. But the way, the words that, I'm not going to cry. I'm not crying again, y'all. What y'all got last vlog is all you get. Let me gather myself. The way, the words, the people, the conversations, the things that have been brought up this week. God ain't playing about me. 
he is trying so hard for me to understand that this person is not the source. This thing is not the source. Nothing is the source but him. And the more that I keep going to him to water me, to inspire me, to motivate me, to walk with him, the more he's going to continue to reveal himself. And this ain't, I ain't even, the crazy thing is, I ain't even reached the tip of the iceberg, child. God is just like, all I've reached, I ain't even, I ain't even reached the tip of the iceberg. Y'all know the iceberg would be like, like that. <laughs> Y'all know the little iceberg would be like, like that. God said, girl, you right here. You, you actually right here. <laughs> There's so much more <laughs> coming. <laughs> God. Oh, I feel like I'm speaking in riddles, but I feel like if you know, you know, you can catch my drift, child. Um, I am working on being more, I'm, I am working on being more transparent and more open with you guys. So thank you for even allowing me to feel safe enough to come to you guys and be open with, with y'all about certain situations. But I want to take y'all on this journey with me. I want to take y'all on this journey of what this looks like. Am I going to be getting, am I going to be working with some of the people that I'm talking to? Um, what that looks like. I just want to take y'all on this journey um, and, and talk about what I'm going to be doing going forward. God has done so much for me. Um, to where I can't even think a bad thought, child. Definitely grateful for the opportunity that I had with the agency. Definitely grateful for even having that opportunity to be with an agency. Like I learned a lot and I feel like that's exactly what my, what my calling was. <laughs> I was supposed to go through that phase, um, as a new content creator, as a fresh content creator, I was supposed to learn exactly what I learned. I was supposed to see exactly what I was supposed to see. This is just the beginning for me. Um, and yeah, I'm forever grateful. Every part of like the step of the way, as far as what's led me here as a content creator, um, what's supposed to happen. So I'm definitely grateful for, for this journey. Um, and all, but yeah, so what I'm going to do right now is do my voiceover. I want to talk about the things that um, I learned, you know, my recap. I don't know if it's what I learned or just like, here, here's a recap of quarter one or, yeah, I guess it will be more so things that I learned, but I want to talk about like relationships, how important that is. I don't think that's talked about enough. Like when you, when you see like videos of like, you know, being a full-time creator or how to be one. It's always like, you know, be consistent, post, you know, reach out to brands 10 times a day, like things like that. But the most important thing is honestly relationships and networking and using your resources. Um, definitely was not something that I was doing last year at all, at all. Um, but this year, has made all of the difference. And I want to talk about that. I want to talk about knowing your business as a content creator. It is so important to know your business, what's coming to you, your rates. It's just so important to like know your business as a content creator. I think a lot of the times when we do like get the excitement of being with the agency, like agencies are amazing and I will never downplay that like because they do have resources that you do not um they have connections that you do not have access to um therefore you know just being with that agency opens up a whole new door unlocks a whole new level for sure if you get with the right one um so I don't want to downplay that at all but it is also just as important um to know exactly what is going on inside of your business because you are the brand that's also something I want to talk about is just knowing that you are your brand at the end of the day what happens or does not happen is solely up to you and also knowing that you have a voice knowing that you have a voice and um knowing that Knowing that you have a voice, but also preparing for when you do speak up. I think that is also really important. Um, so yeah, there's a few things that I'm going to go ahead and take some time to script out. Um, I'm just going to write it so I can just read it off while I'm doing my voiceover. And then um, we got some makeup yesterday. We got a whole thing of like a big, all of the makeup from the lip bar, all of the lip stuff. So we are going to 
do a video. We're, we're creating today. We're getting to the bag, okay? I'm getting so much feedback from the last vlog. I just love y'all so much. My video has hit over 700 views, y'all. 700 views, y'all. Look, even that. Even that, y'all. Putting out a vlog and it hitting over 700 views this week. In a day. It was in a day. It was in a day. A single day. That never happens. God is like, stop and see what I'm trying to do for you. I can't do the things that you want me to do if you ain't listening to me i'm telling you guys like he is the source of literally everything he is the source of my success nobody else nothing else um so yeah um i, I appreciate y'all again for allowing me to talk to y'all about these things um even the feedback in my last video uh cried last night <laughs> cried last night like a baby um, because the things that I want are being seen and felt. Um, the people that have followed me this week, I'm like, God is like, girl, I told you you were going to be fine. Why are you tripping? Let me send this person your way. Like, child. Let me get off here before I start crying again. Not for any other reason. Even the video where I cried last time, I I was crying because shifts are uncomfortable. And when I'm uncomfortable, when I'm frustrated, oh, I'm going to cry, baby. I'm going to cry. I'm going to let it out. Um, I feel all of my emotions, okay? And right now, my tears, and even last night, my tears came from just the goodness of God. Like, how real and how loud he is, is just, it just blows my mind. And what he, oof. We have 722 views. That never happens. But it's about to start happening. Okay, I'm gonna get off here before I start crying. <laughs> and I didn't even know his last name. He said he took us straight from that. Okay, that's that. That is getting my mind. What's the truth? Ugh, we ain't shit. Can y'all remind me again why people hate on us? Hey, you got a problem? Okay, so maybe this one attacked him later, or maybe maybe they knew each other. It Ooh, <laughs> Food is done. I did not eat, but we got our water, got our energy drink. We didn't eat because we just got our first two bound, two inbound offers um as a free agent <laughs> um we got one from ag1 um which is the greens y'all know ag1 it's a greens company uh they have like green powder i actually do use them um i absolutely that's actually my favorite brand of greens that one and um amazing grass but i'm gonna keep it real <laughs> Hey, you want a little pricey, okay? So when I don't feel like spending too much on my greens, I I get um I uh why am I password now? Here we go. I get amazing grass. Nonetheless, I use the brand. I like the brand, so I am open to hearing what uh they have in mind. Um, and then Shea Moisture. Shea Moisture. So yeah, I'm about to do my first little. We're about to do it right now. Period. Period. No way.
good morning friends it is friday y'all we are filming i told y'all um yesterday that i was gonna end up like not filming and just cleaning my room and that's exactly what i did i cleaned um she's not completely clean i'm gonna hold you there's still some stuff over here but that's honestly because i need to figure out like what to do with the stuff am i like do i need this stuff do i need to find somewhere for it to go like that's the only reason why. Um, but right now, I am going to just do my hair <laughs> so I can start filming after I eat. I'm starving, I'm so hungry. I did have a smoothie this morning, but I'm really, really hungry, y'all. Last night while I was cleaning, I ended up getting distracted and I started working on my PR closet, trying to organize it a little bit. Um, I also like, I know y'all been hearing me talk about these dang giveaway boxes that I need to give out to my girls. Um, but they still here. So what I decided to do was buy boxes because I know I'm going to be doing a bunch of giveaways. So I bought a 30 like pack of boxes to, um, like, so all the boxes can like be the same and look the same. Well, and I got this from Vino. This is Vino's fault. Vino said my boxes look ratchet. I'm just using recycled PR packages like it's good for the environment. And he had the nerve to say my boxes look a hot mess. So that's I'm blaming it on him. That's why they late. OK, um, so the boxes actually should be here tomorrow. So um, after when I when they get here, I'm going to package them up and I'm going to send them to the girls because child, um, I ain't right. <laughs> I ain't right. So, uh, yeah, I want to make sure that I get those out to them. I am I'm looking for a comb. Where's my white tooth comb at? I don't want to use this. These pin curls have been pinned since the day before yesterday. Are they giving body yachty? I think they are a little bit. Something. They're giving something. They're not giving flat. Um, I also, y'all, I also just <laughs> ordered some bundles from Amazon. Um, this is my first time ever ordering bundles from Amazon because I want long hair. Like this isn't long enough for me. I want, I want long hair. I want like, <laughs> let me say it again, long hair. And I keep seeing the girls like when I'm scrolling I see somebody and I'm like oh my gosh I love the hair like if you know this is kind of like my regular schmegular length or the bob um or like the shoulder the actual like shoulder length sometimes I'll do like right here or else I'll, I have the bob and then this is like the longest I'll go but y'all I just ordered two 26s no 20 26, 28, hold on, I don't know, I don't know what I ordered, okay, I ordered 26, 28, 30, 30, girl, we about to be, we about to be, oh, wait, my husband's calling me, hey, babe, what up, what you doing, um, my hair, um, uh, I probably ordered some food, why you sound something? like that, what's going on, nothing, what are you talking about, you sound miserable. I'm exhausted. Oh. I'm up since 5 o'clock. I'm tired as hell. Why is up at 5? Because someone left me. I Bo felt lonely. Boy, you was snoring, child. I couldn't do it, honey. I don't want to hear it. Do you want to or not? From where? I don't know. What you want to eat? You want, like, what you getting? Like a salad or chipotle or? I thought about going to Piazza. I'll take that. Uh, the the avocado piata, no tomatoes. No, no, no. It's not no tomatoes. Um, the romaine it's instead finished. of a romaine instead of a arugula. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what you want a bowl? No, I want the. Or you want the salmon? salmon. Wrap? I want the wrap. Yeah. Salmon. Right, yeah. Fire salmon. All right, hold now. Thanks, boy. Anyways, before I was really interrupted, your girl's getting bundles. Like, I don't know. I just, it's something in me that just want long hair. Now, am I expecting these bundles to like bundle? Honestly, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Um, I paid one 
and with the taxes and shipping and stuff, it came down to 160. Um, I don't know, y'all. So <laughs> I'm going to, and I also, I also don't even know if this hair is going to die. I don't know what to expect. I don't know if it's going to come like this thin. I don't know, but hopefully the amount of, I, I did so much research on Amazon this morning and one of the girls that from the place I actually ended up, the the buyer I got this, the buyer I ended up getting this from is from Lux Diva and there was a review and she had a video and she had a picture and she talked about them being full. And she also had the exact same order that I had and she had all of them in her head. Now, I don't think, I'm not adding all that. My thing is, I don't want the ends to be like thin. Because y'all know long, the longer it is, the thinner it gets. So I don't want to add, I want it really three bundles, like just in case. But yeah, I just feel like, I don't know. I hope the color, colors, I hope the, I hope the hair like colors. And I'm not trying to like get her like this blonde, like in the front. But I do want to if y'all watch my other video y'all know how i be dying my hair i do want to at least like match the back and everything in the back was only colored once so i'm not gonna have to like you know leave it on forever forever i just want it like brown and i think i am going to do my roots uh, even lighter um i don't know what it is y'all this is just i'm not used to the darkness up here so every time i take a picture or anytime i'm like doing content i'm like staring at this tarmac <laughs> of darkness and I don't know if I just need to like add more highlights in between I don't know it's just it's so dark so I might go to Target and get some box dye to make it just a little just a little lighter just a little lighter so yeah I am gonna um secure her now and I guess wait for my husband to bring some food I was about to um heat up my meal prep but I guess I ain't. Whatever. Um, we just got a package as soon as I hung up from y'all. Um, we just got two packages. So let's see what we got. First one came in this cute little pink packaging, which at first I was like, girls, is this my bundles? <laughs> because y'all know bundles be coming in like these little bags. But um, it doesn't even, didn't say who or what the brand is. It's Oh, y'all remember, um, I believe it was this vlog <laughs> where I had the eye patches on. Girl, the brand and sent me all of the things. Oh my goodness. Wow. They sent me a whole bunch. Um, here, look. I'm throwing these in the give, giveaway pal. Look at all these. All these. I am going to, so this is what I'm about to do. Because I was just talking to my stories and I had the eye patches on and I was like, let me tag this brand. And then they reached out, of course, and was like, hey, can we send you some things? And I was like, yeah, girl. Um, I'm going to wear them again. I'm going to wear them again. And then I'm thinking I'm going to make some designated content. Oh, they sent me two of each. Oh, that was nice. Um, probably give some to Katie. I'm gonna make some designated content and then I'm just gonna share it with the brand and see if they wanna do a little UGC because nothing is free. <laughs> All right, this one says Ralph Lauren. I wonder if it's the same scent that they sent me a few weeks ago, which I filmed for but never edited the content. Oh, it's for the men's. It's it's for the men's. It's for my husband. I should hide it. His birthday is in a few weeks. <laughs> All right, we got. Oh, okay. So this is what it looks like. And then, boom, boom. Aaron Judge, New York Yankees team captain. Okay, y'all, you're getting that, getting that influencer bag. <laughs> come on partnership oh it came with a hat which is definitely mine I'll let him keep this but keeping the hat I love a good hat it came with a hat can you imagine this like being dressed up like super cute 
I would have took the one he has on in the picture. I like the little original Ralph Lauren little little whoop -de -whoop, but this is cute too. Okay, and it's like embossed, like it's like thick, it's raised, cute. Um, but smell. They ain't give us nothing. Oh, okay. Oh no, I thought it gave us notes or something. This. Uh, the top is Calabrian bergamot heart pineapple accord, and the base is Bevedere. Right, let's see. Oh, I got the little um things from Amazon. Vino talked me into grabbing them. <laughs> I have like 400 of them. Let's use them. Let's see. Vino got eggs, child, a pan. They was up cooking this morning. I said, when is y'all cooking bread? This is nice. Oh, this is, I feel like this is for me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they snap. This is fire. This is fire. Oh my gosh. This is what I want him to smell like. This is exactly what I want him to smell like. And they're doing a little contest. It says, win a trip to New York, including a meet and greet with Aaron Judge to enter, follow the below steps. Post a photo or a video of your fragrance on Instagram or TikTok featuring the fragrance. Uh, submit Polo 67 sweepstakes. Oh, submit with these different hashtags. Must be posted by the third. Mmm. That smells good. Oh, it's so soft. Like, it's perfect for spring. I feel like it could definitely be... It's daytime for sure. But I wouldn't mind smelling this at night either. Like, it's an all-day scent. I'm horrible with, like, explaining scents. But, like, this is nice. Oh, he's gonna like that. Well, hopefully he likes it. Because I like it. He's gonna like it either way, honey. Oh, wow. I use your things. <laughs> so many things. Hey, you. Smell like oh, wait, did I pick up the wrong one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's nice. Isn't that nice? It's go. a nice daytime, right? On my head. Is it in there? Mm-mm. It's gone. You got me some flowers, sugar daddy? Can you pass them to me? Come on, sugar daddy! Wow, thanks, babe. Did you watch that vase last night? Or this morning? Oh, no. Why do you need them eggs in there? That's what it was. Mm -hmm. I made them see his breakfast and they didn't want to eat. Oh, important to think about. All right, I'm going to show y'all my food and I'm going to eat. This is a uh, piata. I know it's not everywhere, so I'm going to show the gross. You got to get salmon inside of it, okay? I'm gonna take the first bite so y'all can take a peek. But it's so good. It's like a, it's like it's street food, but it, it's giving burrito. Okay, I have romaine. It's like a corn and tomato little mixture. I have salmon. Um, it normally comes with the pachetta or the pachete, pachetta, the bacon. I don't get that though. And then I add salmon, and it has a Parmesan aioli. So good. So the only carb, I mean, is the actual piada. So yeah, man, I'm about to go here to eat, and I'll see y'all in a minute.